Alright, welcome back to, uh, my Mariah, uh, Play to Die. Uh, it's part four, and, uh, if you watched the last episode, I, I ran into a very scary ghost, and, um, and kind of freaked out about it, and, and <laughs> didn't know quite how to deal with, uh, that creature. Um, so, I think, um, I think today I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and, uh, Go to the next level of the dungeon and, and just forget all about what I saw. Um, because there's no such thing as ghosts, guys, is there, really? I mean, obviously I was just seeing things. Whoa! The yellow jelly draws psychic energy from you. The yellow jelly appears healthier. Oh, I've got a jelly, a mold, and another mold. Creepy stuff. I'll, uh, I'll kill this jelly first, and then I'll proceed to kill the molds, shall I? Hit the yellow jelly. The yellow jelly touches you, you feel very sick. Hit the yellow jelly, hit the yellow jelly, hit the yellow jelly. Just keep hitting it. Hit the yellow jelly, hit it, hit it, hit it. You're slaying the yellow jelly. Great. So again, like the other jelly I encountered, the poison isn't that strong, so it's not much of a threat. The yellow mold hits you, hit the yellow mold, hit the yellow mold, hit the yellow mold, just beating the crap out of this mold. This is this reminds me of cleaning out my shower. You know? Just all the work involved. I should really go and clean my shower out soon, actually. It's getting a bit manky in there. A little insight into my life. I don't clean my shower regularly. So, uh, I guess I'm a bad person. Well, my hit points are a bit low, so I might just rest a little while here. And, uh, how I only need, like, 24 more experience points to get to level 8. Oh! Centipede crawling on me. You hit the centipede. You've slain the centipede. Hurrah for me. Bandit hits you. A bandit? Huh. That's new. Hit this bandit. The bandit hits you. The bandit touches you. The purse feels like... Oh, stay away from my purse. I really want that money. Oh. It's stealing all my money, guys. You miss the bandit. The bandit hits you. Touches you. The purse feels like... Oh, fuck off. Little prick. Aim my wand at this guy. Aim the wand of light. And then I'm gonna throw some arrows at him. There we go. You've slain the bandit. Welcome to level 8. Brilliant. Another scroll titled Nedjo T. Alright, so all those arrows I threw just were wasted. But, um, you know, if you haven't got a bow, you may as well throw arrows at people. I mean, why not? You know? Why not? Probably would hurt to have an arrow thrown at you. Even if it, um, hit you on, like, sort of the feather end, it probably still smart a bit. Having an arrow thrown at you by a terrified paladin. Um, I wouldn't want that. I'm sure that band didn't want it either. Um, I can gain some new prayers. Let's try that. Still pretty good at level eight now, so I really should probably go to the next level of the dungeon and, and, and uh, stop stuffing around. Be a man about it, Rob. Let's let's be a man. Um, I think there's a way to pull up the map, and if I pull that up, I can probably see where the uh, staircases are. So how do I how do I get my map up? Shift M. Right. So there's a down staircase sort of to the southeast. Okay, so we'll, we'll proceed down that way. If I, go, if I go eastwards here, it's probably... Here we are. Yeah, brilliant. By the way, if you, if you notice I'm skipping across massive areas of, of, of the, the level, that's because I'm using shift uh, and direction button to run, uh, which is a little risky because it just means you, you just run headlong in a direction until you uh, come across something the game thinks is interesting. But um, it does have the benefit of, of, of moving you a lot quicker. Um, so, use with caution, I guess. Alright team, um, well let's, um, let's, uh, you know, gird our loins 
and uh, proceed to the fourth level of the, the Mines of Moriah. Well, here we go. You enter a maze of down staircases. You pass through a one-way door. And here I am on the, uh, the fourth floor. Whoa! I thought that was money! Turns out it's, it's a monster. That's devilish! Creeping copper coins. Oh my god, I just walked over to that and just tried to pick it up and, and it turns out that it's an enemy. That is really devilish. Creeping copper coins. Gosh. That reminds me of like Mickey Mouse and Castle of Illusion where you, you go to pick up one of those chests and the chest is like an enemy. You know, it's a very similar concept. Creeping copper coins hit you. Hit the creeping copper coins. Wow, it's actually kind of tough. Yeah, there we go, slain it. Oh, good stuff, got some money. I'm really upset by all these pricks that keep rocking up and, and, and stealing my ill-gotten gains. Um, I can, how many centipedes did I murder in order to get this money? And these bandits and little fuckers just keep turning up and, and nicking a lot, so... You can imagine how upset that makes me. Um, See, so yeah, I'm really not... Really not making a lot of money on this this uh this little journey so far. I'm hungry. All right, well I'll have a bit more uh, to eat, shall I? Eat some uh, food. I've got 11 rations of food left. Chartreuse. How do you say that? Chartreuse? Char Chartreuse potion. And then Azure potion. I've got a lot of potions right now, actually. I wonder whether it would be advisable to just sit down and drink a bunch of these potions and just and just see what they do. I've got two metallic purple potions. Why don't I drink one of those and see what happens? This is, <laughs> again, not, not advisable. Um, if you came across a, a bottle with purple metallic liquid in it, would you drink it? Probably not. But uh, Holy Steve is a, a braver man than I or indeed you. Um, so let's, uh, let's have a drink of this potion. I think it's Q to quaff. Yeah, quaff. Which potion? Uh, let's quaff the uh, metallic purple potion. You are full. You have a potion of resist cold. Ah, great. Okay, so now I know what that potion does. Um, good to know. So if I find any more potions like that, it'll, it'll just say a uh, potion of resist cold. That's useful. What's this? A scroll titled Nasio Tea. I've got three of those now. I really should read one of those and, and, and see what it does. Uh, so I'll hit R for read. Ah, oh, two scrolls of blessing. I feel righteous. Righteous, man! I feel righteous! Alright! That's, um... Oh, darn it. That blessing obviously wears off pretty quickly. I imagine that's the same, um... Oh! It touches you. The shriek of mushroom patch makes a horrible wail. You hear a sudden stirring in the distance. The shriek of mushroom patch. You've slain the shriek of mushroom patch. Don't tell me there's another ghost around here. I'm gonna use that detect evil spell and see. You hit it. Hit it, you've slain it. No? It wasn't it wasn't a ghost, because if it was a ghost, that detect evil spell would have um would have made it appear. So uh, obviously not twenty gold pieces worth of copper. Okay. I think I'm right about that. Yeah, creeping coins, hey, I'm I'm never I'm never trusting a uh, dollar sign ever again in this game. I'm just going to always look at it and make sure that I, uh, that I know what it is before I walk over to it. Uh, this door's locked, which is a real pain in the bum. I'm going to try and bash my way through it. There we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. That was easy. Ah! A scruffy looking hobbit. Hobbit. <laughs> I really need a bow, don't I? Arrow hits the scruffy, scruffy looking hobbit. Hit the scruffy looking hobbit. You've slain the scruffy looking hobbit. 41 gold. That guy's obviously been out nicking all kinds of stuff from people. Oh no, worms. Bunch of worms. Oh damn. I wonder how many of them there are. Because they, they might have been multiplying for a while now. Nope, just two of them. That's good. Oh, wait, there's more. 
Oh boy. There could be a whole bunch of these guys. Oh, thank goodness. Light is growing faint. Oh, okay. I need to um, pull out another uh, torch soon. Okay, why don't I wield a uh, fresh torch and um, drop Drop something first. Oh, okay. I'm obviously carrying way too much stuff. Um, well, let's try and drink some of these other potions and see what they do. Hey, why not? It's a it's a potion fest today uh, in Moriah, and I'm going to be doing a fair bit of drinking, just like I'm doing in real life. I've been uh, sipping away at some um, some beverages here uh, this evening. So why don't I pour myself some more beverage? And uh, drink a few potions. I'll try this brown speckled potion first. That doesn't sound sus at all, does it? No more potions of resist heat. Okay, so far so good. Um, I'll try this magenta potion now. Hey, this stuff is good! <laughs> no more potions of confusion. <laughs> Brilliant. Potion of confusion. That's like a... It's kind of similar to this bourbon I'm drinking. Uh, okay, I'll have to... Let's see if I can... I can uh, there we go. Great. I'll just drop that, uh, that torch that I was uh, previously using, because it's more or less useless. And um, there we go. Wait till my, uh, my alcohol wears off. I love that they call it a potion of confusion. And when you drink it, it comes up with that text. That's really funny. You gotta admit, the guy who made this game obviously had a great sense of humour. Uh, let's try the Chartreuse Potion. No more potions of haste self. You feel yourself moving faster. Brilliant. That's really useful. Um, when you're moving fast, you like have uh, more attacks per turn. Um, and you'll move faster than your... Um, than your enemies. What happened there? Ah, oh, it's another ghost! Oh man! Maybe we should get out of this area. <gasps> it's a Naga! A black Naga! I remembered from my childhood that N means Naga. I'm still not entirely sure what a Naga actually is. Um, I think it's some sort of creature from, um... Indian mythology? No, just bugger off here, because I don't like the idea of fighting a, a naga and a, and a ghost at the same time. That's probably a, a bit much for me um, at this point. Um, is there a ghost? Can I see the ghost? Yeah, there is a ghost. That's really scary. Because the problem with the ghost is it, it makes you afraid, and when you're afraid you can't attack. Another naga! Naga. You miss the Naga, the Naga crushes you. You hit the Naga. Hit the Naga. Hit the Naga, hit the Naga, miss the Naga, the Naga crushes you. You hit the Naga, you feel something roll beneath your feet, you have slain the Naga. You have a white potion, let's drink that right now. You're covered by a veil of darkness, you're a fool, you have no more potions of blindness. Oh god! That is the worst! There we go, I, I just rested for a few turns to make sure that I... Uh, I just waited for that potion to, to wear off. That would have been really bad if I was in the middle of a fight and I just decided, oh, I'll drink this potion and, and hopefully it'll help me. Then it turns me blind, you know? I've, uh, I've had some bottom shelf vodka at uh, AC's place from time to time and let me tell you, that's a pretty good potion of blindness if ever there was. I failed to pick the lock. Why don't I bash my way through the door? door crashes open. Hurrah. I really... It's quite fun. These ghosts are a real issue. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I can, can do about it. those ghosts. Just kill the ant without even thinking about it. Like I said to you, there are scarier invisible enemies um, the deeper you go. Ghosts are uh, 
more of a nuisance than a, than a threat. But there are things like wraiths that are just awful to have to fight. Large green snake. Hit the large green snake. The large green snake misses you. Hit the large green snake. The large green snake. Do, 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 do. I think I've killed it. Brilliant. So much for the snake. How much experience do I need? 378 to get to the next uh, the next level. Um, doing okay for time here. I'll, uh, I'll keep going a bit longer. There's rubble blocking my way. This way. Hmm. There must be a, a way out of here. Maybe to the to the east is a good way to proceed. Like this way, maybe. Hmm. So far, I haven't come across much. We still got a bit of gold out of all this. 134. That's I'm not exactly rich, but if I need to go back to the, the town and, and and buy some food or um torches, at least I've got a uh, fair bit of money to, to, to purchase those essential items. Oh, I've been poisoned by this bloody jelly. Hit the white jelly, hit the white jelly. Duh, 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 just keep bashing it. I don't know why, but I'm just imagining this jelly as being like a, um... <laughs> you know, like, a, like an aeroplane jelly, kind of like a little jelly in a mould with those sort of ribbings on it. Perhaps with some ice cream. I don't know. Just my imagination, guys. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. Okay. Pretty unexciting. Man, that goat. I would love to kill that ghost. I would love to be able to say that I killed a ghost. But because they walk through walls, um, and because they are, um, there was that naga around as well, I really don't like my chances of being able to, to fight the ghost and fight that naga at the same time. That seems like a bit of a tall order. Two light brown potions, but I must, I must have to drink one of them just to see what the other one does. I feel less thirsty. You have a potion of apple juice. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it's nice to know that there are some potions in this game that aren't actually magical. They're just a, a bottle of apple juice. Good stuff. Well played, Robert K. Well played. Oh, some more, uh, some coins lying on the ground. Copper. Found 21 gold pieces of copper. Great. So I'm really, I'm really nervous now. Every time I see coins, I'm, I'm like, is that a creeping coins? I, I can't trust anything anymore. Nothing is as it seems in Moriah. If the game teaches you something, like dollar sign equals money, and then it, um. Then the game's like, aha, uh -huh, maybe dollar signs aren't money anymore, maybe they're creatures. Mm. It's, a, it's a very sneaky game design and, and, and kind of clever. Clever use of the um, of the limitations of the graphics here to, uh, uh, you know, lull you into a false sense of security. Uh, you see a dollar sign and you think, oh great, I've come across some money, hurrah, and then you walk over to it and the money hits you. Which is just, you know, completely unexpected. Nothing down here. There must be something at the end of this corridor. There must be. Come on, come on. I know I'm poor at searching, but there's got to be something here, right? Maybe not. Okay. Go back this way. All these dead ends, man. There we are. Excellent. This room. It's a closed door. Oh, right, back to where we came from, more or less. A down staircase. Ooh. Should, dare I go down? Oh, Shriek and Mushroom Patch. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Is something coming for me now? I don't know what it is. Those things are the worst, Shriek and Mushrooms, because they, they lead enemies to you. Yellow mold hits you. Hit the yellow mold. These guys aren't much of a threat, really. I'm not too afraid of those guys. I may as well use my uh, cure light wounds prayer and um, get my health back. I'm so 
tempted to uh, to go down to the to the fifth floor now, and maybe that's a, a, a massive mistake. Um, but uh, the enemies in this floor aren't that threatening, so uh, look, I, I might call it quits for now, uh, and um, you know come back uh, for the next instalment, and I'll uh, I'll go down to the fifth floor and we'll see what uh, what perils await me on the on the on the fifth on the fifth floor of this dungeon. Pardon me, I've had too many potions of confusion. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching uh, this uh, installment of my Moriah Play to Die, and uh, I'll see you next time for more thrills and chills. Cheerio!